In this problem, we're going to find the reference angle for 230 degrees. So the first step when finding a reference angle is to graph this angle. So 230 degrees, let's look to see where it is. So we'll draw our little picture here and let's go ahead and label the important angles. So this is zero, this is 90 degrees, this is uh, 180 degrees, and this is 270 degrees. And that should be enough because 230 now is gonna be over here somewhere, right? It's between 180 and 270. So maybe it's here, maybe that's our 270. That's the terminal side of 270, of 230 rather. <laughs> so let's draw it. So there's 230 degrees, boom. Okay, so what is a reference angle? So the reference angle is the positive angle, which is acute, which means it's less than 90, made with the terminal side of our angle, which is this, and the x-axis. That means it's this. Notice when I drew it, I drew it this way. You always draw it clockwise. So you basically just connect your x-axis with the end of your angle. You just connect them. Now we just have to find out what it is. Well, we know that this big angle here is 180 degrees. And this angle here is 230 degrees. So what's the difference? That's what this is. So 230 minus 180 is going to be 50. So 230 minus 180 is going to give us 50 degrees. Do you always subtract 180 to find it? No, it depends on the angle. So again, always draw your picture. I hope this video has been helpful.